What's up, pussies? I'm the Heavy Metal Dick, and this is Heavy Metal Homesteading. It's recently come to my attention that there is a gross quantity of people, young people, especially in my generation, that have no fucking idea how to handle their own lives. Um, especially basic maintenance of shit. So, and basic life skills. So I'm gonna start doing some just basic life skill stuff. So today, we're gonna change the oil on my girlfriend's truck. So the first thing you want to do is go in and find your uh, hood release under your dash and get your trunk open, or your hood rather open, or your bonnet if you're fucking in the UK or Australia or wherever else they say bonnet. Okay, then you're going to need a couple of tools. You're going to need some sort of oil filter wrench. I usually like the strap type, but I can't fucking find mine right now, so I'm using this piece of shit. You're going to need whatever socket size you require. Um, for your, uh, drip, your oil pan drain plug is the fucking word I'm looking for. You're going to need an oil drip pan. You're going to need the applicable oil for your vehicle, which you can find in your owner's manual. And you're going to need an oil filter. Uh, you should be able to find that in your owner's manual as well. Uh, most, uh, hardware stores... Uh, anywhere that sells this kind of shit will have a little fucking computer or book where you can look up the year, make, model of your vehicle um, and it'll tell you exactly which filter or which couple of filters that you can get. So yeah, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get uh, under the truck. If you drive a smaller vehicle, uh, you might want to put your vehicle up on ramps or whatever, but uh, this thing has enough ground clearance that it can fit even my big heavy metal ass under there. So we're going to get under the truck. Oh! One other thing you're going to need. You're going to need a light of some sort. Whether it's just a, a flashlight or a headlamp. Uh, lights are important because you need to be able to see what the fuck you're doing under there. Unless it's a really, really bright sunny day, then you can probably get away without a light. So we're going to crawl under there right now. And we're going to go over the next step. Alright folks, so here we are under the truck. Please excuse the shaky video because I am holding on to the camera. What you want to do is you want to find your oil pan, uh, which can, oh fuck, that's something you don't want to do, uh, which will usually be easily recognizable um, by being some big blocky something or other bolted to the bottom of the motor. Those are the mounts right there, the bolts rather that mount it to the motor, um, and it will also have a drain plug of sorts. Um, and that yellow bit that you're seeing is, um, is a high heat fucking gasket to, uh, to make sure there's a seal. A lot of vehicles will have a brass washer instead, um, so don't panic if there isn't some sort of rubber thing on there. Okay, so the first real step of doing your oil change is to get, fuck, not drop your wrench in your fucking drip pan every ten seconds. Get your wrench on on your drain cap. You're just going to turn it counterclockwise. Okay, righty tighty lefties. You might want to wear gloves for this because you are going to get oil all over your fucking hands. You'll see why in just a second. It's also a good idea to not have your motor super hot when you're doing this. Okay, and there we have it. There's the oil draining out of the motor. Don't fucking drop your plug in there. You're going to have to go fishing around uh, and get even more oil on your hands to get it out. You can't put this back together without that. That's what holds your oil in your motor. Okay, so get that out of there. Put that aside. Don't get it in the dirt or the mud or whatever because that shit will end up in your motor. It'll cause all kinds of fucking problems. So set that aside somewhere safe. And we're going to go up into the engine bay and do the next step. Alright, so here we are in the engine bay, and uh, here's a little pro tip for you to keep your drain cap out of shit. Just take the lid off your uh, your oil bottle, and just drop your drain cap in there so that it doesn't end up wherever, in whatever. Okay, so, now we're going to need to locate our oil filter. And this is it here. Uh, it's really, really easy to find on these particular vehicles, uh, but I've seen them in all kinds of fucking dick around places. Um, yeah. It's fucking really stupid sometimes. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna remove the uh, the oil filter, taking a couple of minutes to set the camera up and stuff, and that's let the majority of the oil drain out. 
Um, if you try to drain or take the oil filter off before you drain out some of the oil, occasionally, depending upon the location of the oil filter, um, you might have some oil splatter out everywhere. So, you get this dumb oil filter wrench on the back of the filter here. All right, so I have successfully just stripped and ruined this piece of shit oil filter wrench. It's plastic garbage. Okay, just ruin that thing. That's why I don't like these. That's why I don't recommend you buy one. The reason I was going to use it today is because I can't find my regular strap wrench. So now I have to go fucking find the right thing. This is going where it rightfully belongs. In the fucking garbage. Alright, so here we have a fucking proper oil strap wrench. This thing actually works for oil filters. Okay, and this only works one way, so as you grab the wrench and twist it, it closes up and then will rotate in that direction. If you try to go the other way, it just stays open and doesn't do shit. So you want to make sure you get this on in the right direction. And you want to make sure you get the right one for your particular vehicle uh, oil filter size. Now a little tip, I like to close the wrench and twist it um, the opposite direction that I'm turning to give myself a little bit more uh, a little bit more room to turn the wrench itself. Okay, so there it is turning little by little. Pretty standard for Japanese vehicles not having a lot of space to turn the fucking wrench. Okay. There we have it. Filter is loose. And there you can see, hopefully, there's some oil that has come out of the filter. Uh, luckily, these are well engineered and they have a little, uh, a little drip that drips back down into the oil pan or something along those lines and then makes its way back into the drip pan with the rest of the oil. So now this time we are going to uh, just grab some paper towel quickly or shop rags or whatever you've got and I like to just wipe down the excess dirty oil we don't need to clean it right right off just get the shitty black oil off and then your new filter ta-da! fresh out of the box what you want to do is you want to just get again you might want to wear gloves for this if you don't like touching oil or whatever um, just put a little splash right there around that Rub that in, get a tiny little bit on the gasket, and then get some in on the threads as best you can as well. Um, the, the oil on the threads is going to help you uh, get your oil filter off next time easier. As you can see, especially with a vehicle like this where there isn't a lot of room to turn your wrench around, sometimes it can be a bit of a pain in the ass, so uh, make sure you do that. And then the little bit of oil on the gasket there is just to, uh, to help it create a seal when you put it on. Uh, and the oil around here, I'm not really truly fucking sure what the hell that does, but every mechanic buddy I've ever had helped me change an oil filter always does that. So maybe if you know what the fuck's going on, you can uh, clear that up for me in the comments section and for everybody else watching as well. And fire us a like while you're at it. So we're just going to get this on here, screw it down. Now this doesn't have to be on rocketing fucking tight, okay? A lot of people are terrified that it's going to leak and shit, um, but it really won't. Just slightly more than a hand tight is good enough. I shouldn't say it's good enough. It's, it's, it's all you need, okay? So just give a couple quick turns with the filter wrench. That's it. That's all we need, okay? Good to go filter is on um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go back down underneath the truck and we're going to put our drain cap back in and make sure that uh, all of the oil has finished draining out. Alright so here we are as you can see um, little tiny bits of drip are coming out of the, uh, of the oil drain. If you've got really really gnarly dirty oil it's not a terrible idea to run a little bit of clean oil to flush out some of that extra sediment and gross uh, bullshit but because uh, we're pretty good about uh, about changing the oil on this thing um, I should have shown you the dipstick before we started but it's not totally totally black um, because it gets driven so much 
we always make sure that it gets changed um, well before it's actually due. So we're good to leave that little bit of, uh, of dirty stuff in there. The filter will pick most of that up. Um, but if you're a little bit late, it's a good idea to let all of that drip out and or um, to flush it with a little bit of clean oil. So now all we're going to do is so we're going to grab our drain plug. We're just going to gently thread that back in there. Get the same wrench that we've already dropped in the oil pan about 25 times. I'm just going to push the oil pan out of the way so if I drop this wrench again it doesn't end up in the oil pan yet again. And we're just going to tighten that down. Uh, and again, it doesn't need to be super, super silly tight. Just fucking a little bit more than hand tight and you're good to go. And then that's it folks, all we gotta do is fucking top off the oil and we are finito. Okay, so now we're back up into the uh, into the engine bay. Earlier I told you to check your owner's manual for um, what your oil is supposed to be. And the reason I do that is because oftentimes the owner's manual will say something different than what the oil cap says. So as this is a perfect example of this. Um, your oil cap, which by the way, your dipstick and your oil cap are two different things. When you're filling your oil, you want to fill through the oil cap, okay? So this says uh, 5W30, which is just a pretty standard regular oil. However, the owner's manual states OW20, which is what we've been using. Uh, it's been working well. We've had uh, zero mechanical issues until recently, and it was something that's uh, a wear part anyways. Why fuck with a good thing, right? Also, when you check what uh, what weight your oil is, it will tell you uh, how much oil your motor needs. And a lot of companies nowadays, um, if there's a multitude of different engine sizes or um, types or whatever, you need to know which motor your particular vehicle has. So these particular trucks, uh, they come with, uh, I think it's a 2.8 liter uh, inline four, or they come in a 4 liter V6, if I recall correctly, or 3 liter V6. I don't remember what the fuck it actually is, but this is the this is the V6 motor, um, and it uh, it uses five five liters of oil. So here I've got uh, 4.4 liters, and then I have another smaller jug um, that I will measure out the remaining 600 mils that I need. And if I don't have 600 mils in here, I have another jug that's also left over from, you know, the remainder of whatever I needed from the last time I did an oil change. Also, depending upon where your um, your oil fill cap is, you might need, uh, as they say, a funnel. Uh, if you don't have a funnel, what you can do is buy some of these smaller oil jugs, like this size, uh, the one liters, or whatever the fuck. Probably, oh no, it is actually a liter. Um, so here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check, and along the side here, if you're not aware, there's a little gauge. You can see the oil moving up and down in there. Um, that'll tell you how much oil is in that bottle. So this is 500 milliliters, and I need 5 liters, and I've got 4.4 plus 5. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to dump this in. Okay. So that is now empty and we see it fits in there nice and snug, right? So what we're gonna do is we are gonna use that bottle to make a funnel, okay? I've told you before and I'll tell you again, if you don't carry a pocket knife, start doing it. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut our hand open, cut into the bottle, cut all the way around, Okay, until she cuts right half in two. Don't get oil on your battery. She has a funnel, man. Put the cool, huh? Normally I wouldn't do that right over the engine bay, but I wanted to do it on the camera, and the camera is pointed at the engine bay. Um, that was stupid. So before you get all fucking angry in the comments and call me a moron, oh, actually, you know what? Fucking go for it. I don't give a shit. Call me a moron all you want. So now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to dump another 4.4 liters in here. 
Well, now we need another 100 milliliters. Okay, so this jug's going to be really hard to tell, um, to measure 100 mils out of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bottom um, of this one. 100 mils is right there, and we're just going to... I'm going to do this off camera so I don't spill fucking oil over the battery again. And we're just going to measure it right up to there, get our 100 mils, and then we'll dump it in. Okay, so there we have our 100 mils that we need. Just going to fire that right in there. Take that off of there. Put our oil cap back on. One more pro tip. So now you've got this big fucking drip pan full of dirty oil. What do you do with it? You have an empty oil can right here. And when you buy your uh, your drip pan, make sure you get one that's got a good spout on it. You're just going to put that spout right in your uh, right in the jug you just dumped your clean oil out of and dump it in there. Now don't forget that's a 4.4 gallon capacity jug and I have approximately 5 liters. A lot of these will have a bit of extra space and you might be okay but make sure that every now and again when you're getting close to emptying your pan you stop and you take a look. We're gonna be just fine. So there you have it. That's how you do an oil change. So if you enjoyed that, you didn't know how to do an oil change before, like the channel. If you want to see more tips on general life skills, more uh, more mechanical shit, more how to build basic things, growing food, just being a better a better part of society. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You know, if there's something you else you want to see, you want to learn, you want to know, go ahead, get at us in the comment section. Yeah, that's it. I'm the Heavy Metal Dick. Fuck you.